Hi, Stan Griffin, pastor of the Cornerstone Baptist Church in Exeter, and this is Garage Talk. We're here in the garage and we got the John Deere torn apart. It had a water leak, spraying antifreeze everywhere. You can tell when antifreeze is leaking. It's got this kind of sweet smell to it that it's thinking, that's not oil, that's not gas. Of course, if it was gas, it would go boom. But anyway, it wasn't doing that. But I knew something was wrong, and I looked into there spraying antifreeze everywhere. Not good. So we tore it apart, got it all together. But it needs a lower radiator hose, and now we are waiting. The word for the day is waiting. Because a lot of times when you're working on things, you have most of the stuff you need, but you don't have all the stuff you need. So you... Move on to something else. So we can move on to the old weed eater here. Bought this a long time ago. Left rear tire leaking on it. And uh, I tried to do something with it. That's not going well. So we move on from that. Got the old Ford here. Loved this car. But I'm waiting for my ship to come in on this. Because it's milking me dry financially. Good time though. Not complaining. But waiting is something that is a lifelong practice. And I'm not getting better at it. I feel like my dog sitting on the deck, looking through the, the glass door, wanting to be on the other side of the door. And she just, you can tell, oh, it would be so nice if I was in with my family. And then when she's in with her family, she's waiting to go back on the other side of the door to be outside. Always on the wrong side of the door. Is your dog like that? My son feels the same way. School, he's eight years old. At eight years old, you have nothing else to learn. You know everything. There's really, what's the point in school? And he's got a busy day playing, and school slows him down. His term is, this will take billions of years. And maybe he's an evolutionist. I don't know. But he can't wait to get done school. The Bible talks about waiting. The Old Testament says they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. And so there is a, there's a process that God didn't put waiting in our life. He didn't give us instant satisfaction all the time so we'd always have what we want. Waiting is a process of growth. There's a verse in Romans 15, 4, if I can find it here in just a second. This says, for whatsoever things were written aforetime, in other words, in the Bible, were written for our learning that we through patience, patience is another word for waiting, and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Hope is a great word. Hope is something you hang on to when it seems like what you're waiting for will never happen. Hope is that thing you hang on to when that girl says, I hope he'll ask me to marry him. Oh, it'll be so... All those things that we hope for. We hope for a good report from the doctor. We hope for good things to happen that we're afraid might not happen and all of that. But the hope that the Bible talks about talks about the comfort of the Scriptures. And this is where I'm going. There is a book called the Bible that I'm sure you have in your home, that sometimes the next time you find yourself waiting, and usually it's daily, is why not wait on the Lord? Open up this book right here and just look into it and see what the Lord has for you. And it's a very good chance you'll be pleased with what this book has to say. Hope that makes sense. That was my son leaving. He couldn't wait until we were done. Thanks for watching. See you in church on Sunday, I hope. It's going to take for a billion years. It's going to take for a billion, billion years. He... Oh.